My name is Michelle and I wrote a best-selling book called Goodreads for Authors and because of that people think of me as a, something of an expert on Goodreads and how authors should, should use it and one of the questions they ask me most often is is it only for fiction and it really really isn't. Let's have a look at why it isn't. On Goodreads there are many many groups a little like Facebook groups, but a bit a bit more open than those. If you have a look at just the tags, you can see that there are currently 273 groups with a non-fiction tag. And there are more as well. This is just one, one, one snapshot of them. So you can drill it down into biography or historical non-fiction, lots and lots of different ones as well. These are some of those specialist groups. Not all of them will have chosen to add the non-fiction tag to their tags. So these are often in addition to the non-fiction ones as well. And as you can see, there are lots, lots of groups and there are lots of members of these groups. Now, Goodreads members are known for being passionate readers. They love reading. They love talking about books. They write reviews, which is great for us as authors. And they're passionate about what they talk about. And when you've got these non-fiction groups that, that are really, really healthy, it really has to get your attention when you write non-fiction. It's very, very interesting for us as authors. If you are on Goodreads yourself, and why wouldn't you be? It's a fantastic site. Many, many opportunities for us both to promote our books in a subtle way, but more importantly, to engage with our readers and to find out what, they are, what they're looking to read next. If you're on and you have a number of books on your shelves, you have to have 20 books on your shelves that, to give Goodreads an indication of what you like to read and what you enjoy. They will make their recommendations engine work for you. So they will give you suggestions of books you might like to read. Because I write non-fiction as well as fiction, and because I have shelves on my Goodreads virtual shelves specifically for non-fiction and non-fiction specialities, I'm given non-fiction books that they're asking me if I want to read them or not. So you can see just from this very small snapshot that there are lots of non-fiction books on Goodreads. Many of the books on Goodreads have been put there either by the authors themselves or by their publishers. Sometimes readers will put them if, if they have written, a, if they have read a book and they want to review it and it's not on Goodreads, they can put it on themselves because Goodreads is very much a reader, a member-based site, so they encourage that. Books don't automatically go on Goodreads. They have to be put there by someone. So these books have possibly been put there either by the publisher or author or by the reader. So that means that either the publisher or author has put these books on, in which case they think there is value in Goodreads for non-fiction books, or the readers themselves have put them on because they've read them or they, they intend to read them and they want them on their shelves. Either way, it means that non-fiction is on Goodreads. It's working, it's popular, it's here to stay. Giveaways are very, very interesting. Giveaways are mini contests. So each giveaway is a contest for a book or a number of books, a number of copies of that book. And any author can put their paperback or hardback book on there. It doesn't work for ebooks. And people enter that competition. And in doing so, they enter it to win a copy of that book. And often they will put that book on their shelves to say they want to read it. So you can find that if you enter a giveaway as an author, if you schedule a giveaway, so you will find that if you schedule a giveaway for one of your books as an author, that lots of people will be entering that and putting your book on their shelves, which means that all their friends see them do that. Possibly all their Facebook friends if they've connected their Facebook account as well. So your book is being put in front of a lot of people. Goodreads statistics show that every give giveaway attracts an average of 825 entries. And I just captured four of the current ones. This is April, uh, April 20th, 2013. So these were current uh, uh, today. The first two are fiction. One's attracted almost the average entries. The natural causes one hasn't. Perhaps it's a, it's a recent entry. Perhaps it hasn't been on there very long. The bottom two are non-fiction. And, and they're interesting. So the Plato one has only got 433 entries so far, but the Culture Wars in British Literature 
916 entries, which is above average. So this is quite a quite a handy snapshot, actually. It was just just look. It gives it gives us a glimpse of the sort of books that are, that are attracting entries. So and I think we can say across the board that nonfiction is attracting as much interest as fiction. Readers read books. And many readers will read any books, not just in their favourite genres. They will read anything they can get their hands on. I'm like that. My daughter's like that. I know lots of people like that. So if you're worried that you've only <laughs> written non-fiction and that perhaps Goodreads isn't the place for you, don't be. Because Goodreads readers are passionate readers and they will give your book as much of a chance as they would a, a fiction book or one of their favourite authors. They also try to win books in the giveaways. And they know that writing reviews of other books increases their chances of winning giveaways. So they write reviews. So putting your books on Goodreads, even if you don't schedule a giveaway, increases your chances of getting more reviews written for your books, which, as we know, reviews sell books. If you would like to know some more about how to use Goodreads to promote your books, to promote yourself, to make the best use of your limited time on social media because social media can be such a great big black hole of time please consider joining us on our course i've created a course based on my goodreads for authors book with the fabulous kathy pressland kathy was uh, an international economist she knows about how to be successful and she's now a specialist in helping people become successful as writers so this course is designed to teach you loads about Goodreads, loads about how to promote yourself and your books, and how to make the very best use of your time in order to get a good reward for your writing. It's a seven hour course, but you don't have to do the whole thing. You can dip in and dip out of the bits you need at that point in time. It's a forever course. You can come back to it any time. And we're also available to answer questions. If you join the course or you buy my book, you can also join our private Goodreads for Authors Facebook group, which is a fantastic community of people. And we all help each other. We all help promote each other and report back with what's working, what's not, and latest, latest tricks of the authorial trade. I do hope you will join us and thank you very much for watching.